Hi, my name is Amedeo Beretta, this is Animation Pandemic, and today's guest is Stefan Mangen, currently Animation Supervisor at Marza Animation Planet in Tokyo, where he lives. Me and Stefan met in 2010 when I was animating a double negative visual effects and he was supervising on the same project. I had to pre-record this live due to scheduling issues with Japan time zone and Stefan's family and work commitments, so I will be in the chat during the live, but we won't be able to ask him questions live, unfortunately. I hope you will find this as informative as I did, and if that's the case, please consider sharing this video with your friends, liking and subscribing. And welcome to yet another stream from Animation Pandemic. Today with us we have Stefan Mangen who is animation supervisor at Marza Animation Planet, that I know of, of course, because uh, it, we used to work together a long time ago and you were supervising animation back then already on the yeah. famous or infamous John Carter, right? That was the project. <laughs> That was, yes. that was a good project, I'm sorry to say, but I actually enjoyed my time. <laughs> so, yeah. actually, I enjoyed the movie as well. So, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's I think there are mixed opinions about the movie. I met people who really like it and people who really yeah. dislike it. And then I've met people yeah. who, who, who thought that that, w that was the peak of the projects they worked on and other people who didn't. I think it's a mixed bag as yeah. usual. I mm. I myself have had good times and bad times on the project. I, I guess it depends on which time of production you're in. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true, true, true. Yes, and as usual with us, we have also Francesca Pesce, lead yeah. lighter and comp at uh, Blue Zoo Animation, right? Yes. Okay, that's great. It. Oh, I yeah. think I'm gonna come back as a off-time supervisor <laughs> as I come back. Every now and then you you do supervising. I mean, Francesca used to be a, a lighting and comp supervisor on TV series at Blue Zoo Animation. Oh. Now she's doing advertisement that I know of. Yes. So um, thank you very much, Stefan, for joining us today. In fact, we are very interested in um, how it works to work in Japan and in animation particularly. So that's why we, we wanted to talk to you specifically. Yeah. And one thing is I was watching several months ago i was watching lupin the third the first yeah. yes and then of course yeah. uh, one thing i went through the credits because i thought that the animation looked very different from the animation from the 3d animation you usually have on japanese animated movies so yes. that's why i went through the credits and sure enough i found your name that's when you <laughs> <laughs> That's when you went back onto my radars. <laughs> so I was I was convinced this was a, a French and Japanese co-production, but was it? Not at all. It's a hundred percent Japanese, actually. Oh, okay, then I don't know yeah. why I was convinced. How you were you... the part of the collaboration. Yeah, yeah there was <laughs> French working there, so yeah, you get few name, French names, but uh, no, that was actually hundred uh, percent Japanese and. 100%, I would say like production wise, 100% uh, Marza, so uh, the studio I'm working in. So, and so I supervise the whole uh, animation basically. Uh, I see. Projects uh, with like uh, either another, so one of my friends, like a colleague slash friends, Tomo, uh, Tomo San, so Tomo Kazo, is, um, is actually, he supervised the, the kind of like technical parts. And I was doing more the artistic part. and. Uh, I have another, uh, the animation director as well was actually kind of like, like working with me, like on the artistic, uh, artistic part. I see. But um, how did you find out about the job itself? 
a giant. <laughs> it was it was forgotten when I when I came here. It's like it's kind of like the studio. So this studio, Marza, is a uh, is um is how can I say it's kind of uh, it's like my second family here. That's a okay. very long. That's a very yeah. old. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, checking area. the I'm checking the show reel because you came from Disney, right? At the time, I went at Disney at some point. Yeah, it's uh, I went two years at Disney. That was that was quite something. But I just uh, like the Los Angeles parts was uh, the part I just couldn't bear with. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <I'm not> <laughs> Yeah, I'm more like a city guy, like a, like a city where you don't have to drive in and you just like uh, take the bus and you just like walk around and uh, and you can walk. And like uh, in Los Angeles, you don't walk. When you walk, you look suspicious. So, uh, so it's kind of... Uh, <laughs> and the hours we were doing were well, actually, that was pretty tight work-wise. But uh, so basically it's like... So you just drive, go to work, come back to work, sleep, and, and so on and so forth. And... Uh, and uh, yeah, I was kind of like missing. I was coming from London at this time, mm -hmm. and ju just after double negative, basically just after John Cato and Mars we worked together, and uh, so I went there, and uh, that was actually that was a great experience. It's, it's, it's uh, what can you say? It's Disney. It's like uh, like as an animator, you kind of reach uh, the yeah. top, and so. Uh, and so I was like, wow, that's, I'm actually there. And so that was like one of my child dreams. And after like two movies, I was like, I don't fit with this kind of life, like, uh, like uh, driving all the time everywhere. Just like, I want to just be back to uh, like a city. And I had another dream, which was to, to come to Japan, like when I was a kid. So I was like, yeah, why not, why not going to Japan? And that's how I went to Marza the, for the first time. So so you you applied there, or you did you, did you know somebody there? No, actually, I looked around at studios, and uh, I'm talking about like uh, that was like six years ago, or something. Mm -hmm. and so I was like, well, I like this. Uh, I kind of looked at the studio, and I looked at this one, and they actually made uh, um, Captain Harlock. Uh, yeah, some kind of like mm -hmm. uh, which was on Netflix. My, I was like, well, that looks actually pretty good, and then. When I contacted them, they, they said, well, you know what? We actually have like an indie movie uh, that uh, we're going to work on it. And, it's got, and the, the director is actually from Los Angeles. So uh, why not meeting him in Los Angeles and talk about it? And so uh, I talked with him. I was like, well, seems like a good deal. And so uh, I, went to, I went to Japan. That was more like a lifetime experience. More than, uh, more than uh, like I was not going for the, the walk. I was really going for like you wanted, uh, yeah. Like a, so yeah. in your in your case, you really wanted to go to, to Japan already to begin with. Exactly, exactly. Nice. It's just like that was a that was a child dream. It's like I was really into this Japanese kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, like, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, yeah. Out of curiosity, because I, I know like uh, basically France and uh, in terms of how they. Um, build up like the education system, like it's really close to animation. Stuff. No, no, it's not close, but it, there is like some sort of uh point of Affinity. contact between French animation and Japanese animation. Yeah. So, is there like a trend now of uh French animators that want to go to Japan? It's, I think, it's not just uh, it's not a trend, it's just like uh, it's just for, for example, like in France, the, we have like the uh, what the name, the Japan Expo, Japan Expo is like uh. <laughs> It's actually the biggest um, convention, like a cultural convention of any country in the world. It's like, and it's in France, and it's actually just for Japan. Mm. And so we, we are, we, I don't know for what reason, but we are worshiping Japan for a long time. Literally, it's like, if you go to any like library, you go to the manga, uh, like you go to the manga like uh, department, and you get more. Manga that you actually get like uh, like uh, books like uh, like uh, European books. Uh, like, uh, yes, I did mm -hmm. love to go to Paris because I found a lot of the of these bookshops that you're talking about. Right. Yeah, that's the Japan Expo stuff, yeah. and so it's uh, it's massive. It used to be massive. I'm not sure now with the uh, how with yes the and stuff, but uh, but that's that was that was huge, and uh, and so yeah, we so I, I've been I've been into this kind of stuff like. Uh, like going to the first uh, like a manga uh, shop in Paris 
with like no translation whatsoever, and I was just buying like some uh, some manga like in Japanese just for the sake of uh, of owning some uh, some Japanese uh, stuff. Speaking and, of which, uh, do you speak Japanese now? <laughs> <laughs> I do speak. I don't write it. I mean, I write uh, katakana hiragana. Right. Kanji, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely uh, bad at it. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I do speak actually. So uh, so when you give feedback, do you give feedback in Japanese or in English? Uh, in Japanese, because I don't have any uh, like a translator. Translator. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, the first time I came to Japan, actually, on this uh, indie movie, uh, there was like a, a girl, and she was actually uh, she she became one of my best friends. And uh, she was my translator, but she was so good at it that even though I was trying to speak uh, Japanese, she was always kind of like just like, cut me and she would cut me out and just like speak ex exactly what I said. She would just, I don't know if anyone was trying to speak Japanese, but uh, yeah, so uh, that was fun. But uh, now, yeah, and, I, and then the second time I came back to Japan, um, this time they told me like there's no translator, so. <laughs> yeah. just this wrong with it <laughs> exactly go back the hard way like, oh, fuck. all right i'm gonna do it and so uh so i did it and uh and uh i mean yeah, it's it's useful <laughs> in general it's, it's totally useful <laughs> But, uh, yeah. mm. so you it's stayed good. you went uh, you worked on two different productions and there was a break in between so the first time I, I, yeah Go, the, go first, the first time was how long? Two years? The first time was one year and a half. And then basically this indie movie that I talked about, like which is called Robodog. I think you may you may found some uh, some stuff on the on the on the Mars app page, maybe. Or keyboard. Is there like keyboard? Is there uh, like a Robodog? It's like this Let's blue see. dog. And uh but the problem is the, the project gets uh, kind of like postponed. And so uh and so they kind of like they kind of like uh, I wouldn't say got rid of the foreigners, but like like most of the foreigners had to leave because we all are like as a as a freelance contract. I and see. So, uh, and so back then, they were they were um, like renting my apartment, and uh, they were like so they made my visa, renting the apartment, and the job. So basically, I was losing the apartment, the job, still get the visa, but then no job, no apartment. I was like, it's gonna yeah. be tough. So. So I went back to UK uh, for, for, for. I one. see, and they I called you back. For, they called you back. For... I, I contacted them again because I went back to UK for like two years. I worked on uh, um, that was a Jungle Book. Then I worked mm. on Mowgli in a frame store. So Jungle Book MPC, Mowgli on at frame store as a uh, supervisor, and then I worked on the Fantastic Beast as a lead animator, and then Fantastic Beast. As a lead animator, but then after, I was like, I want to go back to Japan, and so uh, so I contacted them again, and they're like, we have a job for you. We can't say much about it. We have a job for you, so just. Uh, just <laughs> and, uh, yeah. How much notice did you get? I mean, it's like, what was the kind of conversation? Did you tell them like, uh, uh, if there was, a, you asked them if there was a job avail available, and they told you like, yeah. I mean, in how many months after you you got the job? Not many long, not long ago, because uh, what happens like this studio actually became uh, like a part of my, uh, I would call that family in a way that I've been working here the whole time, and they really, really love each other. And so uh, when when they knew that I wanted to come back, they were like, okay, just come back, and then we're gonna find uh, we're gonna find a spot, even though there's no spot right now available. Just come back, and then uh, and and then you can just work here, and so. For the first six months, I did work on a great project, but then this uh, Lupin, actually, so uh, okay, going back to this Lupin, actually came back, and because I was actually supervising on the uh, this uh, indie project already, uh, the people knew me already, and they knew that I could actually supervise uh, like uh, mm -hmm. in Japan. And so when this Lupin come, came, they were like, do you want to, to supervise again? So I was like, yeah. Uh, Fair enough. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but all in Japanese, not all in Japan. Kind of all in Japanese, like the like director is Japanese and is is like hundred percent Japanese and, uh, and everyone like and so I and we needed like a lot of animators and so uh, we recruited like uh, a lot of animators and and 
two thirds of them are actually uh, coming from abroad. So uh, yeah, there was like one third Japanese, two third. Uh, I see. Four would, years. Ago. Would you say that's that's because you were there? Uh, would they have hired so many foreigners if, if you weren't there? No, I say it's just because they 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 actually it's kind of weird, but like in Japan, I feel like uh, like skill wise, like. I mean, in CG, I'm talking uh, just about CG. Skill wise, it feels like they they actually not as uh, efficient as uh, other countries can be. Because as I think, like uh, I kind of like blame on the the the, the lack of English uh, spoken people here. Could be the problem there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So they can't access all those kind of like master classes and stuff like this yeah. and. Uh, and so, so they kind of like work within Japan. So they work in their own rhythm. And so uh, when you arrive from like the road, you don't have the same rhythm. And so you kind of break everything and just kind of like, uh, no, that's not how it should be. Because, uh, and the fact that I was actually coming from big studios, for them, that was like a big plus. Uh, so they actually trusted me more because uh, of those, of this uh, the background I had. Uh, which was actually, uh, yeah, that was uh, thanks, thanks to that, actually. But, uh, Were there ever like clashes in terms of cultural approach to how you would do things and how they would do things? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm French, you know, it's like... Always complaining, so <laughs> it goes against a Japanese kind of behavior, but they got used to it, I guess. <laughs> Can you imagine them going back home really stressed? <laughs> they really, yeah, I actually made a, a girl cry like once. And uh, I was like, she went, actually, I didn't know, but she went to the toilet and cried for like 30 minutes. <laughs> that, that happens <laughs> even in UK, you see, like, don't, don't yeah. worry. That's, uh, that can happen. I think yeah, it could happen in production. Yeah, 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 when, yeah. The, when the stress builds up. <laughs> the person, the wrong moment. <laughs> but did you, for yes. instance, since the style of animation on Lupin is pretty Western-like, um, did you encounter issues with the director, for instance, who maybe wanted something a bit more anime-like? It was kind of like, a, it's more like, a, um, if you, I kind of analyzed all the uh, Monkey Punch uh, movies, uh, like all the Lupin's movies that came out. And we kind of like went to this kind of like a monkey face, you know, like with the with the lips out mm -hmm. and, and things like this. And kind of made made the Bible about how to use Lupin and how to just distort Lupin. And like uh, like basically the default pose was actually kind of like extremely like uh, we say futsu in Japanese. Futsu means a uh, really like average kind of look. No, uh, I think. To deform everything, and then you get, uh, and then you, you you get like this kind of like a nice shape, and so we needed a lot of tweakers and stuff. But I kind of like feel like because in Japan they actually say, oh, you really respected uh, the style, like Lupin style animation, Lupin slash uh, Ghibli uh, kind of style of animation. Mm -hmm. So and in for in uh, foreign countries they said, oh, that looks uh, that doesn't look Japanese, that looks uh, more like, uh, yeah, like yeah. a Western. But it's kind of like um, I mean, everyone see uh, the the cross point uh, like uh, yeah. No, I, I think the shapes are uh, re relatively yeah. anime like. It's just the motion yeah. that is unusually um, yeah. Western like. Because so I was I was I was hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would imagine so. Right? No, 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 no. It's just because they I actually got like a super good team. Like uh, at Mars. Uh, Animation wise, we have like an extremely good team uh, and they, they, they remain after the project. So uh, a few of them actually left the project to work on this uh, Ghibli, you know, like the CG. Uh, ah, yes. Uh, the oh, I, how is that going? Yeah. I've heard mixed yeah. reviews. <laughs> They came back. <laughs> they came back <laughs> yes, I, I've heard the horrible stories about it. I saw something and it looked pretty. Um, I don't know. I, I looked at it from the lighting point of view, and it was pretty. Mm -hmm. I know the lighting; it doesn't exist. It's uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. There's no. You can't call that lighting. Is it? This earwig. 
Yeah, it's, it's just like, yeah, you just put like a sun everywhere and just like put the sun uh, in yeah, the kitchen, just be like you've seen. And uh, it's, there's no, how do you say, artistic choice whatsoever. Mm. And maybe it's, it's, it's the first 3D movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I can I watched a documentary about that, and actually, it's true that uh, Goro uh, Miyazaki, he kind of like he wants. I kind of they put him on the spot, and uh, he had no choice but to do the to direct the movie. Ah, so, his, uh, his son, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. so, uh, basically, it's like because he was the only one who kind of know a bit about the CG, so they actually kind of had to gather like a proper team, like proper. Like, uh, like what they can get from Japan because they, it's pretty hard to, to hire people uh, from abroad at this time. And so you just gather what you get and then uh, try to do the best uh, you can. And so, which is why I kind of feel a bit unfinished, I guess, yeah. compared to, uh, to the movies that came out. And, uh, but especially compared to, uh, to Lupin, because Lupin, I mean, it's, it's a nice life. Life. It's super polished. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, frankly, it's uh, in Japan, it's pretty good. I mean, like it's uh, it's probably one of. I'm, I'm not because I worked on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the overall stuff is actually wow. It's uh, it's what well, that's actually yes, we can do that in Japan, which is actually uh, like important. <laughs> To be fair, I always felt like the lighting, lighting wise, Japan is not so behind. Um, but yeah. mostly because I remember, I don't know if you ever watched the Final Fantasy, uh, the movie, that yeah. back then was actually a, a really polished one. It was, sorry if there was a bit noise outside. It was it was really polished. It was like, it, it was one of the uh, high-end um, movies at the time. And it, it, the lighting yeah. was consistent, was solid. That was really good. I mean, like Japanese people, they really go into uh, technical stuff in general. Like uh, whatever, like uh, modeling is super good at at, uh, at modeling. Like super, like oh, but you've seen like those Final Fantasy with all like uh, those little details everywhere and stuff. This is like model. It's not like a map or whatever. It's just uh, it's a model they actually did like in polygon, and so uh, they are really good at all those like specific little stuff. But like animation wise, I mean like they're getting better and better, of course. But then like animation wise, it's more like. It's just not about the details, it's about like what you have inside basically and what you can actually convey uh, mm -hmm. from your animation. And that's something they, which, like let's say acting wise, uh, like Japanese people are just like, they they don't move much, you know, it's like uh, in general, they're not like as expressive as American can be or, or, uh, or Italian, Spanish, or you know, like all those Latin people that we are, just we are just kind of like moving like crazy. But mm -hmm. Japanese, they are super condensed. So basically, so you kind of like, you kind of see this in their animation as well. It's like it's hard for them to just do like a proper, like a nice acting, you know, because they don't know how to move their own body because we never teach them to work, to move their to move their body. So uh, so, which is why it's like which is why Pauli Lupin is more like a more like a international in a way that. Uh, we have been a lot of like foreigners working this project as well, and so we kind of like we've been taught like this kind of like American way animation wise. So uh, yeah, there is. We are a lot more used to outward outward uh, acting. If you see if you yeah. see what I mean in yeah, yeah exactly, in, exactly, yeah. exactly. Like, but like Japanese are more like a, like a, like inner you know, kind of little details and stuff like yeah. this. Which, which, is, which is a bit strange because in anime though, you have uh, very limited acting very often, also because it's cheaper, I think. But then yeah. they they do deform things a lot. They do ma make massive changes, but this thing somehow yeah. does not go into 3D. Uh, but, sorry. Go, go, go. I was wondering actually if you, was, if you ever found even a limitation in rigging, in fact, because I was surprised as well, because in animation, in anime, they do stretch the poses, they do really nice poses as well. Yeah. It doesn't come through in 3D. Uh, I think just because uh, going back to like uh, how technical they can be, Japanese people, they don't really understand that you can actually stretch your leg because there's the the gene on top of the leg that is actually like close and they don't want to stretch the close. And so uh, 
And so they're like, oh, no, man, you can't stretch that. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it with my class or whatever. It's kind of like, it always goes back to like technical stuff or like in 2D, you just want me to do that. Mm. And so, uh, I mean, it, it just depends. I mean, do you, you, there's a studio, I think, called the uh, Kamikaze Doga. Kamikaze. They, uh, they're actually going to work Kamikaze Doga. They, 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 they did like a, a Batman Ninja or something like this on, uh, on Netflix. And they're actually doing like those super cool uh, shorts. Um, and they're going to make a movie for like Star Wars Vision, you know, like uh, the Disney Plus uh, Star okay, Wars yes. short films. And they're doing one of the one of the movie. And it's actually like this small year studio that uh, no one really hear much about, but they're doing fucking good stuff. And, like, but they push. The animation that they actually go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they are yeah. pretty... Uh, let me check. This is Batman yeah, Ninja. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so this is like, and it's on Netflix. I mean, it may still be on Netflix. I mean, mm. it depends because in Japan, Netflix is changing, which is pain in the ass because there's like uh, the, the, the Netflix web here is like uh, what you get is different than what you can get in UK. Ah, like uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, you, you try to find something and then you find out that it's Netflix, but on, on another country. Exactly. You're like, ah, you know, like even the subtitles, you're like, oh no, come on. I was like, I have it in French. <laughs> so in French, I have it in French. The same movie, why I can't get the same subtitles like in Japan? Come on. So this stuff this is 3D. Guy, yeah. It's uh, all uh, 3D and it's not bad at all, actually. And it's, uh, it, it deserves to be watched. And uh, they're doing like, uh, so they're doing this uh, Star Wars Vision uh, short film. So I'm really. Uh, looking for it they are really good those guys they're really good not sure if they're hiring <laughs> <laughs> but are they all are they all in tokyo huh? are they are they in tokyo they're in tokyo yeah, yeah, yeah. most of the studios are in tokyo for those who just joined in, today's guest is Stefan Manjen, currently animation supervisor at Mars Animation Planet in Tokyo Stefan has supervised animation for the movie Lupin Third the First, among other projects, of course. And we are asking him about his experience living in Japan. Have you ever? I mean, do you do you enjoy Tokyo, or have you ever thought of moving uh, outside? I enjoyed when I was single, or like uh, when I was just like a couple light because you just go out and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, real daughter, and uh, she's uh, she's going to get uh, two uh, like soon. And my my wife is pregnant for the second one, so you can see, you see the city in a different way. Basically, it's uh, <laughs> concrete everywhere, and uh, there's no sidewalk, and uh, there's like a Mama Chali uh, going here, like bew, 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 bew. you know Mama Chali, like those Japanese uh, electric uh, bike driven by oh, a yeah. woman, like by mothers. With like a baby in front, baby in the back, a baby uh, in the middle, and uh, <laughs> it's a it's a human tank basically. It's like, because they just go like this and they don't care. Usually they're on their phone and they just drive like this. No, with the kids. And, oh, oh my god! No, but so many times I, I because I'm biking every day. So many times I was at that to have an accident with those uh, with those uh -huh. women. It's yeah, the, uh, Mama Chali. If you type Mama Chali Japan, ah, this one. That's kind of uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Yeah. This is like super electric, super heavy, and uh, it can actually, uh, it can kill you straight away the moment that you... <laughs> it's, it's like, like it's, a motorbike. It's, <laughs> With it's, kids. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Bike, yeah, it's a human... That's why I'm calling it you know, a human thing, because no one wants to touch the kids, you know, so you cannot break that. Yeah. <laughs> But like so many times, like uh, like on the phone or like talking to someone and like like going forward. Like yesterday, mm. I was at that to have an accident. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, so I mean, now, how long does it take you now to get to work by bicycle? Not long actually, because um, so here I'm next to Shinagawa. If you get uh, like in Tokyo, so Shinagawa will be south uh, east of uh, the Yamanote line. So the Yamanote line is this kind of like big line that kind of like circle around uh, like the inner Tokyo, let's call it. And uh, yes. Shinagawa, there you go. Here. So Shinagawa, yep. 
Yeah, there you go. So that's Shinagawa. Okay, okay, okay. So we get the station. So you see like how big uh, Tokyo could be. So yeah. it's like south. Yeah. And so there's an island called uh, next to it on the east side of it. It's called Tenozu. T E double N O Z U. T E double N O Z U. Z U. Ah, there you go. Tenozu yeah. island yeah. station. There you go. Yep. I see you're pretty and, uh, close. Uh, it's pretty close. It's a 15 minute walk from Shinagawa, but so that's where is the, the studio is. And uh, me, I'm living in a place called um, Togoshi Ginza. We have Tokoshi Koen. Tokoshi Ginza. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So I'm living here. So by bike, it's 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. It's quite cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool because I used to live before. Actually, we chose it because we came back to Japan uh, like uh, that was in uh, May. We came back to Japan, so uh, so not so long ago. And so because my wife, she's a flight attendant, so she goes to uh, Haneda. So from I here, it was like, from was actually easier. And for me, like bike, the bike was like twenty minutes, which was great. Yeah, twenty before, minutes like on Google. Live, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's super easy. Before I used to live in Shimokitazawa, which is like uh, east side, uh, west side of uh, of uh, of Shibuya. That was like forty minutes bike or forty mm. minutes uh, train, and the train was just Packed. horrible. It's mm. uh, uh, yeah, it's like because you get like the two most crowded, two of the most crowded uh, lines in uh, in Tokyo, which are the Inokashira. Uh, which is a metro, and then you get the Jia, the Yamanote, and uh, it's it just at like nine nine a.m. It's awful. It's uh, as you know, you know, like you don't you don't need the pushers because people like, they go inside, they just stay like halfway outside, and because it's already super packed. So you already like basically uh, when I describe it, I, I always say if you forget to take your phone in your pocket before getting in. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna get, you, you can't get your phone basically because you're just stuck like this. Right? So if you have your phone, it's good because you just stay like this with your phone, which is uh, which is okay. But then the the door open and it's still fully packed. There's people coming in, like holding the the the, the top of the door like this, wait for the for the for the door open, you know, beam, and they just push themselves inside. But like literally push themselves oh, inside, and it, it's awful. Awful. It's worse it's, than uh, London. It's worse than London, in fact. It London, sounds like right. that. You can't compare. You can't compare. <laughs> it's, uh, it's insane. Basically, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, I don't know. It's like, uh, but, but the thing is that the fact that no one actually say anything and everyone is on their phone or like just like not shouting or whatever and they don't smell, which is kind of, which is true. But like, uh, but like they don't smell. So, so, you you kind of like so you just talk like this, but then you there's no aggressivity around you, so you are to go with the flow, and uh, and you're like well okay let's do it. let's do with it. But then after two years doing it, I was like I was getting mad basically because sometimes you get those guys in the train they don't hold themselves, so they're in the middle they don't hold themselves they just stay like this and they just and they go with the people around them. <laughs> so, uh, so the train stop, they just like like this, and, and you and they actually and you see the people getting compact just because they don't want to reach uh, any handle or whatever. It's awful, and so <laughs> I had that many times, and uh, sometimes I just uh, yeah, I was I was that bad to just get it right. But mm. at, at any times, did you actually manage to work from from home uh, during the lockdown in Japan? I know it's not quite on the same lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, uh, now in Japan, actually, uh, half of the team, uh, half of the people are working from home. Mm. And uh, we still, we still in, in Japan, we're still in this uh, emergency states. And that's way too long. <laughs> that's I, way I, too yeah, long. I've, heard, I've heard like the prime minister, in fact, is going to resign <laughs> because people want He's going to resign and leave the, uh, the emergency state uh, going. And it's, it's awful because, but it's not awful, but like you have to wear a mask and you can't. You can go to a restaurant, but you can't drink alcohol. And um, uh, and in ja Japanese people are actually heavy drinkers. They drink lots of alcohol usually. And so uh, 
So and the, the 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 restaurants are closing at eight as well. So you're kind of like losing all this kind of nice stuff about Japan. You know, going to izakaya, like uh, having some yakitori. You know, like those uh, like uh, yeah, those, uh, the rescues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And just like getting into this smoky stuff and just drink your your beer with your with your yakitori. You can't do this anymore for for the past three years, basically. Mm. And you still wear masks, everyone here. Yeah. So um, even though like half of the people have been uh, have been stabbed, uh, we're still wearing masks. So uh, yeah, it's it's pretty hard here. So a lot of people are working um, remotely right now. Uh, the thing is that my apartment just moved in, and so I wanted to get like a, I just I moved in and. Uh, we because because of this state it was it was super hard to get back to japan even though i'm married to a japanese person it yeah. was really hard because uh, japan just closed their borders completely yeah. and uh, they just opened a little bit for like uh foreign years oh for, not for foreign years, sorry for japanese people living in a foreign country mm. and then at some point for like only like a month and a half they said Oh yes, and maybe uh, the husband or like the wives or like the kids. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> but just yeah. Yeah, exactly. If you if you're nice enough, you can come in. And that was like in Italy, they just opened the gate for a month and a half and then close it again. And uh, so I, I went through the you squeezed and, in. Uh, <laughs> but it's nice. hard. And I heard like that uh, even now, like if you come back. Uh, you can't use like uh, your um, you, you can't use public transport. So the thing is, someone needs to come and pick you up. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, like uh, yeah, good story. I'm not story, but like because uh, we came back. So with my wife and uh, daughter, she was a uh, one and a half, and um, <clears throat> we so we she's from Fukuoka, so in the south of Japan, uh, like uh, Kyushu, so the the southern uh, island of Japan, and so. Yeah. There's no way to go there. It's like no way to go there. You can only fly to Tokyo or Osaka. Okay. And so we flew to Osaka, but Osaka to Fukuoka is 10 hours drive. And mm. so you can't take train, you can't take uh, you can't take uh, anything. So that's yeah, that's Fukuoka. Right? Yeah. And you got Osaka, which is like uh, yeah. like uh, east side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, that's where you are, yeah, exactly. So, so it's a long we we flew back to Osaka and then at this time we had to stay three days without leaving the the, the, the bedroom uh, with a baby in a in a oh. twenty-five square meter room. That was Awful, and they give you and they give you like a cold bento, cold bento box, <laughs> and you don't have any, you don't even have a microwave to put to warm you. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> that was awful. That was just that. Was, so uh, I was just so pissed off at this time. Uh, I was just like, ah, and so basically we just moved the bed and just made like a like a big trampoline for my daughter to, and my wife to just jump around, and we kind of like we ruined the, the room, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. How, how many days, days like this? Three days. Yeah, and then three days. And then the parents came. So from Fukuoka, they actually flew to Osaka, mm. right? This is like a one hour flight. And yeah. then from Osaka, since there were no way we can take train or whatever, they actually drove us back to Fukuoka. So it was like, uh, it was super long. So basically, you spend like three days just being locked down in a room and then you have to spend like uh, 12, like that was like 10, 11 hours because we had to stop for the baby, right? Mm, yes. And so it was like in the car to just go back to their place and then you continue for the next 12 days. Ah. Interesting. <laughs> that was a... Uh, it's not a good time to come to Japan. <laughs> uh, not yet, it seems. We we yeah, tried. Uh, we actually bought tickets two years ago, before, right, uh, right when this thing was starting. Uh, but they got cancelled uh, twice, right? I, know, yes. I don't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twice. Mm. Yes, because one so, was yeah. like the um, Chinese airlines. And, I, and we got the money back quite quickly. And then uh, KLM. And that was quite long. <laughs> we that had to chase the money for the other time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I heard, I heard that actually they're gonna kind of like not open, but like uh, they're actually planning to get this uh, passport, you know, like the vaccine passport. Yes. Stuff. 
though like uh, walking around November, December. So uh, maybe, maybe let's say by uh, by like uh, Hanami, so like uh, March of mm. next year. <laughs> Seems like <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for the it's same. Still a long stretch. I'm still a long stretch, but uh, might be able to. Maybe, know. maybe next year. <laughs> that's the only way. It's like uh, that's why I have one of my friend, an uh, Irish guy, who walked on the Lupin, so he, knew, mm -hmm. he he had to go back to uh, to Ireland, and uh, his ah. girlfriend, she's here, and she has been waiting the whole time, and and he had the visa, he had the walk, he had the. But he couldn't get the visa because he was not married. He, he has been like, uh, he's, he's driving mad, being in, uh, like stuck in Ireland, waiting. Uh, and he, with his girlfriend, just asking every day, like, uh, come on, when are you coming? When are you coming? Mm. It's, uh, mm. yeah, it's pretty tough. So uh, I think that's pretty difficult. Yes. Quite, quite. How do you, I mean, now that you have a family, is the apartment you have in Tokyo big enough? And, and how do you manage to work and have the family? It, actually, the apartment is, uh, let's say it's big enough. <laughs> I could have got bigger. But uh, because we, uh, since we were stuck in quarantine, we couldn't go and visit apartments. So we got it online, basically. We just checked online and the, uh, the, uh, the estate agent, she was uh, kind enough to just go and just like film with her phone. And okay. uh, there's like this big terrace and we were like, wow, the terrace is great. And so we're like, oh, we take it, we take it. And uh, and then once I was the first one to come inside the apartment because my wife she was still in Fukuoka. And uh, the first time I came, I was like, oh, it's so, it's, it's not tiny, it was like 55 square meter. Hey, it's very small but, for free, free people. Uh, almost mm. four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But how, how does it work? Like, is it like a one-year contract and or two years contract, and then you can move? Like, how how easy is to move out? It's a two years contract, so then you can move out of the two years contract. But there's always this um, basically like the entrance fees are kind of substantial. I mean, like, it's pretty big compared to uh, to other countries. And so you get this uh, kind of like the what they call the key money, which is like you give like one month for free to the uh, to the uh, landlord. Tenant, uh, not the tenant, but like the, the landlord. It's the a gift, right? Apartment. Yeah, it's a gift. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. And uh, and most of the time, uh, even like you know, like the deposit that you, that you give, the deposit you you, you don't see it. And my daughter, she always draw on the on the wall, so it's uh, it's over. So basically, it's like one month of uh, one month for the uh, for the owner. Thank you. One month for the tenant uh, for the uh, for the deposit. Uh, then you get one month for the uh, the estate agency fee, and uh, and then if you can't get a warrant, because that's what they ask to work for years usually. But since I went through my wife, of course. Japanese must like that's the easiest way possible. Um, you don't have to ask for warrants because the warrant is actually going to ask you for like a full month of rent as well. So you can, I mean, we have a rent which is about maybe 1,400 pounds, 1,300 pounds, let's say. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to give like six times this wow. price before. Putting your first foot inside the, the apartment. So. Wow. Maybe okay. So, no way, like a, a person that just needs to start a job can afford that. I'm talking about the, a junior that just needs to find a job. Yeah. It's the same as in UK. Basically, it's like uh, if you're a junior, you can actually find like uh, like those house uh, share. Yeah. There's a lot of like, share, house sharing right. uh, places everywhere. And most of the people I, I'm with, they actually live like in a house share uh, apartment. And this is like, and it's it's very uh, foreign friendly. So uh, there's a lot of foreigners living in these kind of like uh, houses, and then, but it's true that if you really want to have like the full potential of what is actually in the markets for rent, you have to ask your your Japanese wife to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know there is a lot of restriction. Like, uh, it's not it's not restriction. It's like uh, there's so many. Uh, I mean. A lot of foreigners, a lot of foreigners actually abuse like uh, Japan, uh, like uh, kind of like uh, gentleness, let's say, uh, and, uh, and kindness. 
And like, like for example, like one of the the guy who work on this indie movie, he was like work, he was like living next door, basically, like a, like a, not too far in a kind of like a private room in a private apartment in a expensive hotel, right? And so basically, uh, American guy uh, at some point he just decided to just like uh, vanish, like the oh, I'm, I'm moving. Before the uh, before the project got postponed, he just decided to just like uh, I, I just quit and just leave. Ah, he left oh. with the apartment, like with all the furnitures inside, like uh, that he bought, and just like everything, and just like fucking trash. We we even found like condoms uh, on the uh, like below his bed, and uh, and he just left like this. And he's like, this is not my, my concern. He's like, I'm just leaving and uh, fuck you all, and I go back to the US. Oh. That's this horrible. Is, yeah, that's, that's actually happening quite a lot. I mean, like, uh, not a lot, but like, uh, it used to happen a lot because in Japan, if you don't pay for the rent, let's say, they're not going to chase you like they do in UK. And like, uh, the months after, basically, you have like some uh, some big guys like uh, knocking at your door. <laughs> yeah. Here, yeah. Here, they're just going to let you just not pay for like months and months and months. And uh, and then at some point they will be like uh, sorry but we we have to do something so a lot of people actually they're like I'm not gonna go back to Japan at least not uh, as a as a resident so they just leave without paying. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. That's why you you think that's why when you look for a house in Japan yeah. it's more difficult if you're a foreigner because yeah. they don't want that. I see that. Yeah, that makes sense. It's probably like we caused it then, so like we can't even complain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that, and the, the the noise as well. Supposedly, we, I mean, of course, we're kind of more noisy, and uh, and uh, they they kind of like you have to you have to think that uh, there's only three percent of the population is for is uh, foreigners here, and within the three percent, I think like sixty percent actually coming from Asia, yeah. and forty percent are coming from the rest of the world. So we, as a European, we are not many here. It's like. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe like French people would be like maybe like I don't know, maybe ten thousand maximum, and mm -hmm. uh, and so so you can just uh, you kind of feel like uh, you're like an actual foreigner here. Not the same as in UK, where it's like the whole world is living in London. Uh, here is like uh, when you see uh, foreigners, you kind of have the eye contact like <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you, yeah. It's kind of like you know, it's like when the the tourists were here, actually, you kind of see the difference. You're like you tourist, and you're like uh, you you don't know anything, and then you see the local, which looks more local, kind of. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Did you find any advantage to being foreigner as they in some situation where they actually treat uh -huh. you better? Most most of the time, yeah. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, it's sad to say, but most of the time, unless you really want to go to like certain bar or like certain restaurant, uh, like, you know, like those small little izakaya, mm -hmm. which is like a really small key, a really small key with like 15 people inside and like you go in and they look at you and then you see their face going like, Bleh. and they're like, ah, I would be, I'm in trouble kind of like, because they're, they're like, I don't speak any English. I don't, I don't want to speak any English to you. Oh. And like, I hope you deal with uh, with Japanese because it's going to be hard to just uh, and so you have this kind of like moment sometimes of uh, of uh, what do you say kind of like uneasiness. Yeah. And uh, actually, right now I have to say that uh, because of the the corona and uh, they actually spread like a, rum a rumor that it was coming. But of course, it's coming from a foreign country. But like when it kind of started, they said it's because of the foreigners. And we really had like a, really felt like a change in the people, the way they actually see you or like talk to you or whatever. They most of the time they're just gonna avoid you. Or like uh, you're oh, on the wow. train, you sit on the train. Yeah, you sit on the train. You know that no one will sit next to you for the for the next 20 minutes because they just come. <laughs> the, the train is packed. They just come. They see you. They're like, oh, oh, oh. come on, face. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I mean, it's it's obvious, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. I've <I'm> heard <laughs> like, someone actually saying, I don't know if it was like um, someone in politics saying, like at certain points, maybe around Kyushu, I don't remember, but they were saying to try to stay away in, in, in social distancing from foreigners. 
They do. They do a lot. Actually, they uh, they uh, and actually yeah, and like even sometimes because here in this uh, in this uh, in this island, there's a there's a big hotel like a kind of like a cheap kind of hotel. And during the uh, the Olympic Games, they there's a lot of foreigners who came here, like you know, like family assistants and all those people that were coming here, and uh, they just come out and get dinner outside because there's no dinner inside the, the hotel, so they have to go out and so. You can see, you've seen like people, I was seeing like people like taking pictures, you know, and put them on Twitter of like four years outside of their... Breaking of their, the quarantine. Their, exactly. How dare you? <laughs> and so you're like, yeah, so yeah, it's, um, let's say, let's say like if you, if you come to Japan, you, you, you have to, as a tourist, it's, it's just like for like a, for like a few weeks and then it's over. But you kind of like, oh, this guy was a little bit rude or whatever. Or, oh, it's okay. Or, uh, but then, as a as a lifetime, I mean, not like as a, like a, a long term, it's getting uh, really tedious, you know, when you get this kind of like uh, uh, behavior like from from other people. So the worst is but, like when you speak Japanese and you can actually understand what they say. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, of course, but I wonder. Well, I wonder maybe right <laughs> maybe it's just going to be temporary. It's uh, maybe it's going to go back to a bit bad to be a bit. It is bit better. Bad. They need tourists anyway. They need tourists so much. Like uh, it's never been as dead. This city is is extremely. It's just dead basically without tourists. So uh, mm -hmm. you can feel it. It's just you you get something like the energy. Like there's a lot of energy gone. So yeah. hopefully it's going to come back soon. Mm. Uh, uh, one thing that uh, is famous of, from Japan is overtime. And we asked a couple of people who work there as yeah. foreigners and they were immune from it, it seems, because they were foreigners. How, what's yeah. your experience with it? Exactly. You're not, you're not, uh, you're, you're not Japanese, so you can't walk as, in a Japanese way. Kind of like you don't, you're not worthy. You're not worthy of walking like a, like a proper Japanese guy. Thank so. God. I mean, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can, so, so you can get uh, eight hours per day. How 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 are the working hours where you work? It's eight hours, yeah. But uh, I mean, Marza, like this studio I'm working in now, is like uh, it's it is extremely good. For, like with uh, or, like they, most of the people like actually in animation, like in my team at least, or like uh, when I work on Lupin, like uh, all the projects, you don't do overtime most of the time. It's like no overtime whatsoever. And so, uh, and they actually, they're completely fine with you leaving uh, like on, on time or even like taking a day off or whatever. They, they're completely fine with it. So, uh, the, the, yeah. the interesting part of it is like, because now I was wondering, it's like the rule, the, the, the idea for Japan is that like you don't leave before your boss leaves. But in that case, you were kind of the boss of the, of the team. So yeah. maybe you were actually relieving them <laughs> from all the time yourself. Yeah. <laughs> There was there was like someone else like uh, there was like someone else above me like uh, Jiro San was uh, like uh, but the animation director was actually above me so uh, but it's true that sometime he was staying around and like this the junior animator were actually just staying around doing nothing just like waiting for him to go home <laughs> and the problem is that most of the time not most of the time but he was drinking a lot as well and I was drinking with him a lot as well they drink a lot actually it's true that. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, there's a lot of like uh, bosses, or not bosses, but like uh, your superior, they will say like, okay, let's go for a drink, and uh, you just go, and uh, you just end up until like uh, like 3, 4 a.m. Uh, drinking. Now with the with the corona stuff, you, yeah. this doesn't happen anymore, but uh, I'm, I'm really hoping it's going to come back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, actually, about your wife's takes because she's Japanese, you said. So, like, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. your wife's takes on uh, on how much because obviously, I mean, in Japanese, men and husbands stay usually a lot outside during the week. Yeah, they yeah. are committed yeah. to the uh, to the to the company. But in your case, probably, like, I mean, apart from the drinking, um, you come back home more often. What 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 does she think? Oh, she's uh, she's not she's Japanese without being Japanese. Basically, she's. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. She's uh, she's not. She doesn't really fit here. Basically, she's. We went so uh, we lived uh, two years in Paris uh, before coming back here. Um, the reason why is like after Lupin, um, 
I need to go back to France because my father got uh, cancer. Now it's all done. It's all, it's all, it's, there's no, he's, he's super safe. So, which is why I chose to go back to, 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 to France. And so I my see. wife came with me and, uh, and so she kind of like lived with me over there as a, like with French people, uh, among like French. And so when we came back here, she she was like, I don't want to go back to Japan. She's like, no, no, that doesn't fit me. It's like she's more like open-minded, kind of like she will love London, like living in London, and so like this. But actually, thinking for the future, maybe to go back to London. Uh, so you're whatever, not like, so you're not thinking of like maybe moving to the a bit outside the city, being a teacher. <laughs> Maybe actually she doesn't like Tokyo. She said maybe if we can move somewhere else. And so because of this remote kind of working well nowadays, mm -hmm. I'm uh, more and more thinking of like uh, why not trying like a uh, one year in Okin Okinawa. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Okinawa! <laughs> extreme. <laughs> yeah, I mean that could be fun. I mean like you just go there for like uh, for like a year or like at least six months, and uh, and you uh, because if you can get like a good internet. Am I gonna walk out? So it's something I'm still uh, studying for the future. <laughs> Okinawa is quite far out. <laughs> it's pretty far out. It's pretty yeah, but you don't go by car basically. <laughs> no, yes, I, I still had the yeah, 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 yeah. But by plane, I mean, like if you think of like Tokyo, it's like I think it's like two or three hours from Tokyo. It looks like it could be. Let's see. It's probably yeah, two hours and a half. So it's it's yeah, quite okay. There you go. It's actually yeah, but then then yeah, like you you go to the main island which is like uh, Naha I think, and uh, and in the main island is not that crazy, it's not that beautiful. You have to go to the smallest the smaller islands, yeah. but uh, it's it's mind blowing how beautiful it can be, and you see in Japan basically. And so uh, so I'm actually thinking uh, moving there for uh, Okinawa, yeah, that, yeah. So you see the water. Yep. I think yeah. for for kids growing up, this is probably a better place than Tokyo. Yeah, well, yeah. and also, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. Yeah. It would be interesting to know, like, about the internet connection because it's uh, yeah, there is probably. I mean, usually the internet connection is great in Japan, but not sure about the island and how they, they deal with it. Actually, you get uh, like the flight uh, because my wife, being flight attendant, she's. Uh, she, she she used to go a lot over there and think you can get like uh like one flight every 30 minutes to go back to tokyo ah oh wow you minutes. can commute good luck I mean, <laughs> I mean, definitely actually and uh, yeah yeah so i mean it's uh it's uh it's i mean that's uh that's uh that's uh that's something we i mean i'm thinking of doing something but my wife maybe she's like you're a little bit too adventurous maybe uh let's stay like in the part yeah yeah like in the mainland I mean, I'm curious yeah. to ask, no, I need to ask, but because she's a flight attendant, does she get like um, a discount on ticket for you? So you can actually do the traveling. Uh, actually, you don't pay for tickets. You don't pay? Oh my God. Yeah, oh, now, now I see the old picture. <laughs> that, I mean, yeah, you, you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> you should do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, get married with a flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> Great choice. <laughs> uh, I was, I was checking... I was just, sorry to interrupt, but I was checking on your LinkedIn at a certain point, and I noticed that you worked on Arcane. I'm bringing the conversation a, yeah. a little bit back to animation yeah. very quickly, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and that looks pretty not Japanese, and that doesn't look no, Japanese uh, at all. Yeah, you know, actually, this uh, that's the sequence. I, uh, that's one of the sequences I supervised. The sequence. Mm -hmm. So I was so happy when they when they actually showed it, and I was like. Oh! The first sequence they showed of the movie is actually my sequence, so uh, one of my sequences. So but uh, is, it is it a yeah. series? Is it a series or it's a movie? Ah, uh, series. Uh, can I? It's a series. I think they said it's. Uh, they 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 said because it's advertised it's... as a series. That's why I'm. Wonderful. Okay, so it's a series then. <laughs> <laughs> so it's officially a series. But you supervised yeah. just the sequence or the whole project? Many sequences. I like, uh, but there's like a lot of episodes, and so I supervise. That's one of the sequences I supervise. I worked for two years on the project, okay. and uh, and that was uh, well, to be to be sincere, that was probably the best project I worked on. I see. Uh, I mean, the animation is super good for being a TV series. Yeah. If only if only the animation was good, it's like the story, the like 
the render, everything. It looks graphically wise. It's mm -hmm. mind blowing. The story is really good. The montage, everything. You see, it. it's it's going to be out. I think in the uh, end of this year. So mm -hmm. so that's. Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, it's. Uh, I was so happy because actually I came back to to France for like a kind of like a, not misfortune, but a kind of like a, for like a something kind of sad because my yeah. father uh, got cancer. But I actually found the best project I worked on in my whole career. So, so it's mm -hmm. kind of like you. It's, ah, so uh, this, this was done in France? This was done in France. Oh, okay. yeah, only in France, only in Paris and uh, at a Fortish uh, production. So um, mm -hmm. this is not Japanese at all. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry I was. That. that's why I was curious. No, 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 it's, it's full, uh, full French. But then I, I kind of like, I took care of a lot of uh, action sequence in, the, in, this, uh, in this series and uh, trying to get like a kind of like a stylish, uh, kind of anime style kind of uh, action. So you see when it's going to be out, uh, it's, it's very... Uh, it's I'm curious. Crazy. Now you yeah, got me curious. <laughs> Seems like it's, also it's the good. effects are quite graphic. I like it's like just from the trailer I, I mean that was just shown. Everything is just graphic. Like it's just like basically it's like all the backgrounds are all like matte uh, matte painting or mm -hmm. you know like a cam map and stuff. So uh, so everything is just like so many 2D, like every VFX were in 2D, not every, but like most of the VFX were in 2D. And so uh so you already get like such uh, I mean you see it on the trailer. It's a nice it's feeling, yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. I really like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's nice. great. So and so I came after that. So I moved back here. Reason why is because um, because of my daughter. I was uh, she was she grew, she 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 was born in Paris, and uh, I wanted her to see her family in Japan. Mm -hmm. And and so and actually I think that Japan for like uh, education wise. Until let's say until uh, five years old, education wise, it's super good in Japan. It's they learn so many things that you don't learn in uh, in, uh, in foreign countries, in my in my opinion. And uh, they really take care a lot of uh, about the kids and how they actually have to interact with the people. Kind of like they have to clean their own room and you know like uh, they have to clean their own toilet and stuff like this. And this kind of, it's amazing. It's like it's amazing, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they, they actually learn like uh, yeah they learn just uh, that uh, you can't just uh, let uh, people do uh, like clean your own uh, your own mess. You have to to clean it yourself, which mm -hmm. is actually a, a great way to uh, to to to, uh, to, to, to uh, raise to a kid. kid. Yeah, yeah, to raise your kid. And uh, Tokyo, even though it's big, it's extremely safe. So uh, compared to Paris, I mean like Paris, my wife she got. Uh, she got uh, married twice, you know, because oh. she's a she's a small Japanese uh, woman. Uh. So uh, you don't you, you don't want that to happen when uh, you know like uh, you don't want that to happen anymore. Basically, you don't want that to happen at yeah. all. So uh, knowing that I'm here, it's kind of like it's super safe. Like you you can just leave your bag. Basically, like if you go to Starbucks, the girls usually is like most of the time it's pretty crowded. There's a table, free table, uh, empty table. They put their bag. The girls they put their bag on the on the table, and they go order their their, their, their their coffee. The bag is there with the phone, with everything inside, but they don't care. No one will will actually think of like stealing what's inside the bag. It's uh, it's it's that. That's uh, that's other is like. So even you as a foreigner, you're never gonna think of doing it. It's so easy, but do you like no because. No one is doing it, so why should I do it too? And so, uh, knowing that, yeah, like for my daughter, you go to a park, you're never gonna get like a junkie, uh, <laughs> junkie. but like, like a junkie, like in France, we have those uh, punks with dogs, you know, like uh, going around the, the parks, and like the dogs are like huge, uh, like a uh, hot rider. You don't want that to happen. So, you, yeah, you wouldn't have people freely letting their dog roam. Uh... Oh, exactly, see. exactly. You don't yeah. have this here. It's, uh, it's everything is super safe and clean. Like she can, uh, you can, you can eat on the floor and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and it's Literally. fine. You know, it's like what? I mean, it's true. Like uh, in France, you eat on the floor, you you get babies basically. Uh, you, you get pregnant uh, just by sitting on the floor. So, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's so much cleaner being here. It's, uh, so, it feels good to be clean. Mm. So, so I mean, one one of the things that foreigners are experienced in Japan as well is the bureaucracy. But since you are married to a Japanese woman, maybe you experienced <laughs> less of it. Do you have any encounter with? <laughs> Bu bureaucracy, um, uh, yeah, the uh, the language barrier. That's the uh, that's the encounter you have. It's kind of like even though you're not married, you usually at work there's always someone who's going to take care of it with with you. Yeah. So you have to go to the ward office, and uh, they uh, you have to fill up some papers or whatever. And most of the time they don't speak English, so uh, and everything is in kanji, and you're like, oh, it's awful it's uh and like and they use really like even though i can speak uh, japanese i don't speak this kind of like japanese all those like specific words for like administration mm -hmm. work, uh, word or whatever i don't know them so uh so yeah without my wife i would be completely lost mm. yeah like a few weeks ago we were talking with uh gabriele cohen who is an animator at kojima productions <laughs> yeah, and yeah, he, yeah 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 he was seeing. He was saying the same. Is yeah. he was lucky that his wife could help him out. So yes. But do you do you have your own hanko? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm no, so, I'm, I'm, how, how do you survive? <laughs> how do you survive? How do you survive? No, they don't ask anymore. I'm like they do ask, but like not anymore. I mean, like uh, there's always like uh, when you let's say like when you receive uh, something like uh, on Amazon or whatever, they ask you to sign a little paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. they, they, there's like this little circle that you have to just like put your anchor in. And uh, but like most of the time, they just ask you or just put a little sign. So basically, you do like a miniature, miniature, uh, like uh, <laughs> a miniature uh, signature. signature. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As long as it fits inside, it's fine. Basically. So uh, okay. I don't have it. But I was I was thinking of doing it because my name is a uh, Menjin, but like man, it's like Ichiman means uh, 10,000. 10,000. Jin, Jin is like a, like a nin, nin is like a pe person. Citizen, so it's yeah. kind of like 10,000 person. <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, that's going to look cool. But then my wife, she was like, no, that's... That's super that's how you can do this. She oh, shattered okay. the dream. Right? That would be cool it's though. Like, <laughs> super cool, 10,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice. <laughs> So um, we're running out of time, so we are going to shoot uh, a couple of questions and that's it so that you can go, sorry. And, and one of them is, so you, you work for eight hours and when does work start in the morning? Can you decide when to start or is there a fixed time for everybody? Yeah, because we, uh, like most of the, the, the people working here, like, I mean, like most, not most, but like there's a lot of freelancer, so I'm freelancing here as well. So you can actually find like uh, whenever you want to come and whenever you want to go because you paid by the months. So they don't pay you by the hours or whatever. I so see. you don't have to, uh, you don't have to, to beep uh, at the entrance. So, um, so me, I'm coming around 9.30 usually because uh, I have to wake up early because of my, uh, my daughter. And uh, I finish at 6.30. But in my team, like uh, most of the younger people, they come at like 10.30, 11, and they leave at like uh, 7.30 uh, or something. So oh, you kind of like, you just, uh, as long as you're not late, basically. With your as deliveries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're fine with it, basically. So, uh, oh. I mean, it's like I said again. It's, uh, it's maybe it's this studio because I heard some bad stuff about some of the studios that I'm not gonna name. But then uh, some of the studios get like a pretty bad reputation. Mm. So I'm not sure about the working condition there. But I know that at Marza, working condition, like for most of the foreigners uh, that have been working here, they always want to come back. Because mm -hmm. of uh, like uh, how safe it looks and uh, and like how it's more like a phone your friend. Is it? Yeah. We are fairly new company, so I was curious about this because obviously like uh, there are different. It sounds like uh, whenever it's a new company or someone yeah. a bit younger uh, leads the company, then mm. it gets more. It, it's it's not a new company at all. It's actually pretty old, but they've been doing like small stuff because Marza is part of Sega. And so uh, Sega is like uh, this huge, humongous uh, group. And there's many, there's hundreds of studios within Sega. And so we are actually part of a uh, Sega group. So we've been doing a lot of like uh, uh, stuff for Sega. 
So uh, what am I? Pachinko, cinematics for <laughs> games. And uh, there's something as well that they do here often. It's like one studio will get, let's say, like a, like a big project, but they can't handle it because they don't have enough people. So they're going to actually uh, like uh, send a bunch of it to uh, one studio, send a bunch of it to another studio. So we kind of like work across different studios as well like this. And uh, But most of the stuff we're doing right now actually uh, work for Sega. So either like... Uh, they don't do much video game, but they do um, they do something that actually get to love, man. Uh, it's like uh, you know, like uh, Hatsune Miku, the uh, J-pop uh, virtual J-pop uh, girl. Ah uh, no, I don't. It's can you like... can you spell it? I'm sure. You H A T S U N E space M I K U. M I K U. Hatsule Miku. Okay, I get it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone knows about this girl. Please share it. Because I don't know what. Now, now I'm sharing the screen. Now that I see her, I know her. Yeah. Oh, I've seen of course. Her yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So see, so basically, this has been done here as well. Like, so basically, what you're showing me right now has been done in uh, in my studio. And so they do a lot of like uh, J-pop kind of like they call that a virtual idol. And so they do in this in in Marza particularly, I mean, Sega. They actually own a, a lot of like those uh, like uh, virtual idols, and so they do uh, this see. kind of work. And uh, it's uh, it's quite uh, it's quite interesting. It's really like part of like Japanese. Uh, yeah, future. people go to concerts to see this, right? Yeah, and uh, you're not talking about like uh, one thousand. It's like hundred thousand people going there. It's huge. It's massive. It's huge. So, uh, and what you have is just a software. It's a software that actually the music is fake. The music is created by the uh, the, the people, and like the, the girl, was, and everything is kind of like part of a community. So, uh, so it's really uh, it's it's really unique, basically. And you don't have that anywhere else. And the thing that mm. you have this kind of like virtual idol that will never die. She was never gonna get caught, uh, like uh, having uh, sex in the car. Yeah, <laughs> very <Sorry>. controllable. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> so Ante yeah, this kind of stuff basically is like she always gonna be pure for the uh, for the fans. So, uh, so it's all stuff basically. It's, uh, That's what yeah Japanese care for. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So uh, I see. Well, mm -hmm. well, thank you very much, Stefan. Um, in fact, I, I, now I have way more questions, but I'm running out of time yeah. and you too. So <laughs> maybe another uh, yeah, time. <laughs> no, actually, I, I told my wife that uh, I will come back home uh, like uh, 8.30. So right now it's like it's 8.15. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, you're going to come back home because my daughter should go to sleep at 9. So yeah, I'm yeah. like... Uh, so no, yeah, we are right on time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Thank you, mm. thank you so much for today. That was very nice of you to uh, to invite me. It was nice to uh, see you again, Stefan. And um, thank you very much right. for for the chat. And um, and again, yeah, it, was uh, it was was very, it was great, very informative. In fact, and I was yeah. really curious ever since I saw your name on Lupin. I was like, I really need to know what's behind that because it looked really, really good. So again, thank, thank you. you very much. And uh, I guess. Uh, I wish you all the best for the future, and maybe I will bug you again one day. Who knows? Yeah, maybe if you, if you want to hook me up again, uh, let me know. It's uh, it's fine if you have more questions or whatever. I'm sorry mm -hmm. that uh, I just ran out of time. Uh, I don't worry. It's uh, heavy duties, but uh, yeah, but yeah, like anytime uh, we can do it uh, anytime again. Uh, sure. Thank you very much again. Yes, that would be cool. Uh, <laughs> best of luck for the Okinawa plan. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, goodness, yeah, that would be. I mean, like. It's still a dream, but like uh, I'm actually getting, uh, yeah, I'm getting confident it could actually work for. for, for <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. Then oh, have yes. a good night. Bye bye Thank and you. bye everybody. Bye bye. Thank you, bye. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Thank you for being with us this time round. I'd like to have Stefan back in the future for another chat. If you would be happy to see him back too, please let me know in the comments below and post questions so that in case we can arrange another interview and I can ask him your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and if that's the case, please consider sharing this video with your friends, like, subscribe, hit the bell and leave a comment below. Have fun!
Hmm? 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 Hmm?